love to introduce to you our new 2000 horsepower engine for the Mustang. We just received the big block back from the machine shop. They honed it, they aligned it, they worked their magic. And today we are going to be assembling our 10 liter SVO big block Ford. While well, Sandy talks sh in his wheelchair and make sure that I don't pack anything up. This is probably my fourth engine install, my first Ford engine, only my second, like, full build. We've already washed the block, we've washed all the components, and we've already gapped the rings to hold 30 pounds of boost. Well, let's just jump right into it. Let's start assembling this engine. All right, we're gonna start by putting the bearings in, and then we'll drop the crank in, and then we'll flip around and do everything else. Instead of just running through all the parts, of we got this, we got that, we got that, I'm just gonna kind of walk you guys through what we are assembling as we do it. The crank is the same crank from the last build that we had, except it was aligned incorrectly. So now it's internally balanced, which means we no longer have a weight on the flywheel or the balancer, and I'm getting a little technical. It's been resurfaced, it's been weighted, it's balanced. And so I'm gonna put the bearings in, we'll put the crank in, and then I'll show you guys the pistons and everything. Circumcised. <laughs> Mustard or ketchup? Mayo. Or in? So now I'm just gonna put some uh, sealant on the inside of the bearing and then we'll be good. Sandy alive right now, not to be able to be a part of this. Yes. <laughs> now that we got the crank inside the block, the main caps are on. Here's the thing, guys. There was two things that were preventing us from actually hitting 2,000 horsepower the last time. One was the compression ratio. It was a high compression ratio. We could have compensated for gasoline, but thanks to Tron Pistons and shout out PFI Speed for connecting us, we now have these deeper dish pistons that are gonna help lower the compression ratio, which means more boost. The other thing we were limited by was the valve springs, which are right here, but, 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 but more on that when we get to the heads, because there's a lot I want to show you on this that I'm really excited about. Let's start by getting the pistons assembled to the rods. I'm going to do all of these. We'll shove them in the block and uh, keep moving on. We probably have two hours to finish this entire build. I think I can do it. go so gonna get the rod cap on and we're gonna torque them flipper put the other set of pistons in and i think we're ready to stick the cam in there We have a couple more pistons. This has been a nightmare, believe it or not. It has been so difficult to get the pistons in the bore with the rings not popping out. I've never had these kind of issues before. Usually it just slides right in and this, this is a mission. This is definitely a mission, but we're almost there. We now have the sixth piston in. We got two more to go after this. But once I get these couple of pistons in, I can show you what we're doing with the cam. The OGs remember my first engine build. I believe it was on the Subaru. Definitely lubing behind the bearings. Your girl's come a long way. <laughs> All right, 
let's torque these. <laughs> table got so messy but we're building an engine here today boys and right now we are at the camshaft and i gotta give a huge shout out to comp cams for custom grinding us this gnarly cam that we're going to be running on the big block ford this is a mechanical roller and we're shooting for a good power band up to 6500 if not a little bit higher. It just sucks we can't run a girdle on this. Thank you, comp cams. We've been going back and forth for quite some time. They've been extremely helpful and super insightful about what the best setup is going to be for this build. And uh, a cam is a very important part of it all. So, lube up. This is so weird to me because I'm so used to the cam gear being on the back of the engine because this is a Ford cam, she swapped. But either way, a cam's cam. Loop her up and get her in. This is gonna be inappropriate, so can you just blur it? <laughs> All right, guys, so now it is time to install the head gaskets. No, we're just kidding. <laughs> And we are almost done completely assembling the big block Ford. The last thing, technically not the last thing, but the last thing for the engine assembly today since we don't have an oil pan since it is currently being washed properly. We're going to install the heads. These are the Kasi P51 heads, the same heads off of the last engine, but we took them to Sandy's guy and instead he opened them up. He ported them, did a five angle valve job, and thank you to our friends over at Cop Cams. You guys will see we have all new springs, locks, and retainers. We're now running a dual spring setup, which was spec perfectly to match the cam that we have inside of the big block. So I haven't been to the gym lately. Let's see if I can still lift this. All right, we got one down, one to go. On. Let's torque these bad boys down and um, we have a 2,000 horsepower capable engine right here, boys. We have an engine. Hey guys, if you don't already subscribe to the channel, please do. I'm trying to hit a million followers by the end of the year. Thank you. We have the valve covers on. We got the comp cams, rockers all installed. We adjusted them and I think we're ready to finally finished assembling this engine. We've been doing this over the course of a few days now and I just can't wait. So we're gonna slap everything on her because I wanna remind you guys how gnarly this is with the intake, with the supercharger, with the throttle bodies, with the injector hat, like even just standing. I don't know if I'd be able to reach the top. So we're gonna assemble everything together. But first we gotta put the timing cover on. We're gonna put the oil pan on. And I am so excited to finally get the Mustang back together. We have some incredible parts that I've already been ordered. This is only the beginning and I can't wait to dyno this and see what we can actually put down now that we have it built to the block's limits. Couldn't find a main girdle, so there is a chance that we shut the crank at the bottom of this, but we're gonna throw power at her, we're gonna have fun with it, and we're gonna test the limits like we always do. It looks like a lollipop. Oh, it does. If you're not supposed to eat it, why would they make it look edible? Not old smoky. Oh, you like too much. Yeah. Oh, one day. A lot of smoke did come out when you did that. Well, it smells like fire right now. There's clearly a fire on it every time we do it. people like to buy their engines already built and I don't knock them for it because there's a lot of people very well qual more qualified than <laughs> what we are but I will say I absolutely love building engines. You like building engines Sandy? Sandy how many hours do you have in your Pantera's engine? A lot. Is it in the car? Yeah it's in the car. It just needs body work now? The car just needs body work. I'm trying guys I'm trying. <laughs> Lots of body work. 
You really do not realize how massive this engine is until the valve covers and the oil pan are on, but just wait. We have the intake manifold here, the supercharger is over there. We're gonna stack everything up and just see exactly how big it is, but oh, the jokes, oh, the puns. But what we really need next is new suspension. We need a roll cage, but of course, we already have all of that in order. We're gonna be getting it soon. This is gonna be the gnarliest Mustang on the internet. If it wasn't already, it's going to be now. And then we're gonna do some fat burnouts. <laughs> we're gonna be unpackaging the intake manifold for the BBF. So Sandy's buddy who also ported the heads for us, poured in the intake manifold because it didn't line up perfectly and the runners have been opened up. So one, they match, but two, they're gonna breathe a lot better. We're just setting everything on right now. Obviously we're not putting any bolts, we're not running gaskets. We just gotta take a look at this behemoth of an engine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Sweatshirts, get your sweatshirts. Don't forget your sweatshirts.